And a good day to all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back in the end with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today. To my friends at the 21st Amendment Brewing Company, the Fireside Chat. There he is. It comes in at 7.9% ABV. Perfect for this time of year because it's cold. Um, I was about to do a review outside, but for whatever reason, it got a little dark. And it was blowing, and my camera was going all over the place. The wind and everything was like, no, no, no. I'm going to do this inside and make it easy, make it simple. So I've already poured the beer in my can. This is a winter ale. Some say maybe an English ale beer. 7.9% ABV. Um, 80 score on Beer Advocate. Good. Um, uh, 3.6 out of 5 on untap so a lot of spice moussel ale uh, fireside chats is something you well know if you follow history political history that was uh something that um franklin delano roosevelt the president of the united states at the time was sort of informing the American people what was going on during the depression, kind of give them a straight up, no bullshit analysis of like, hey, I'm the president, I'll let you know what's really going on. This is what's happening in the country during the Great Depression. Um, of course, if you get a chance, if you ever get a chance, documentaries, whether it be on Netflix or Hulu or any other free site um, or books you can read, uh, about the presidency of Frank FDR or his, the person he took over from, uh, Herbert Hoover, or just books about the Great Depression, read those and you'll see why that was such a very challenging, one of many challenging times of this great nation that is the United States of America that continues to be challenge but also continues to be such a great experiment of what we have and as someone who was a haitian american my family immigrating here in 1974 my mom and my dad and setting foot here and creating the life they've created for themselves also for myself and my brothers and also their siblings and everyone else aunts grandmothers grand grandparents, you name it, is something that you, something I'm very proud to embrace and proud to hug and openly, despite all of America's challenges that has been both positive and also at times very negative, especially the treatment of certain people and whatnot. So, but anyway, not going to get into a history lesson because that's not what it's about. It's about the beer. Here it is. Again, very dark, as you can see. Also some spices uh, in this beer as well. So 7.9%. So this is a very strong beer, a strong maybe ale. Winter ale I like to describe. I say a strong American ale, but I love the aroma already. You get those spices that is perfect for this time of year as in the winter months. Again, I just went outside. It was just, the wind was just like blasting all over the place. So I said, no, no, no. I got to do this inside. Do this review. Get the strong ale, like something you get at a fruitcake. You get the nuts. You get the raisin aroma. You also get the cinnamon. You get the coriander, cumin, nutmeg. All those spices that's in this ale right away. It smells really good. So let's have that. Cheers. Oh, yeah, man. Wine just made it, just make it 8%. You know, let's just quit the BS. Just round it off to 8% instead of doing it 7.9. Be done with it. Everybody's happy, right? Right. Good. 
definitely bin storage. I don't know what the hell that's about, but you get a little, ch also in a tongue, there's a little slight chocolate flavor in this. Um, but you get, you know, it is sort of an tradition of a, that typical winter ale that is something like this. You would rather, you know, like you do with Imperial Stouts. You want to sit it out you know, maybe on the counter for a little bit, let it get its out of the refrigerator, let it get its sort of fullness in this and say, yeah, this is really good. Um, is this better than Samuel Smith's Winter Ale? I would challenge, I think this could give this a challenge in my opinion. All the flavors, everything is, and I've had the same with Winter Ale the last couple of years. All the flavors, everything you want in it. But that one's a little more milder. It's a little bit stronger, in my opinion. A lot, a lot, a lot stronger. Love the lacing in this. This is quite good. Um, uh, the beers I've had from the 21st Amendment Brewing Company, and I, I think I started reviewing some of their stuff actually this year. Um, one of their IPAs is on my channel. You could probably look that up. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was quite good. So we do get a lot of their stuff here. Uh, I bought this at Local Vine at a really good price. I think it was $1.99 for the can. I bought two of them. Uh, one to uh, one to have to review, another one to have to sample on a on a on a showcase coming up down the road. But I can see myself getting this, you know, maybe just to have in around the house for uh, coming up this Christmas. This is this is quite good. Very malty. You get all the spices in this. There's a hint of chocolate underlying in this. It's one of those old school English style ales. Um, and I think this could actually give Samuel Smith Winter Ale a bit of a run for its money, in my opinion. Just saying. So, this is nice. Uh, I think this is good. The, you get the cocoa, you get the, the 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 spices in this, so I think this is quite good. I'm surprised they gave it just saying just good on um, Beer Advocate. I'm going to say this is very good, so perfect for me in my opinion. Love the color, love the darkness of it. It's just it's just a winner for me. So I'm going to go eight point seven on this one. So this is very good. This is a B plus for me. The 21st Amendment Fireside Chat, again, for all those who want to know what Fireside Chat is, type in FDR, Fireside Chat, you'll know why. And these were very interesting conversations he had with the American people during the time of the Great Depression. Um, and someone who does like history, knowing about history, I was fascinated by it. So... Um, so, which was great at the time for our president to let the American people know what, what the hell was going on in the world, what's happening. So, very interesting conversation. So, yeah, so eight point, I said 8.7, right? Yeah, 8.7 for the fireside chat from our friends at 21st Amendment Brewery, check it out. I think it's a really good, good, strong winter ale, 7.9%. You'll definitely like it. Trust me, you will. You will. You will. Yay. Yeah, you will. <laughs> this is John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Realm. It's been watching always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. There you go. 
I gotta hear a little click in this. Winter Ale from Fireside Chats. From 21st of February, the Fireside Chat Winter Ale. Really good. Okay. Sorry. Camera went down. Okay. Yay. 